This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about making a statement with upcycled accessories. So whether you call it uh, being an echoist, being eco-friendly, recyclable, upcycling, you name it, going green, that is what we're talking about today. And today I'm going to be sharing with you three handbags that I thrifted that fall into that category. If you're an egoist, you would love this bag. So an egoist is a person that supports things, you know, utilitarian things that are made from recycled trash. So in this case, this bag is made from recycled magazine pages. So you have magazine pages with a like a laminate covering over it. Not sure what the plastic was recycled from, but it's just a cute little handbag. And I, I love the way it's made. It has a detachable handle so you can wear it as a clutch so you can do away with the chain. And then you have this stretchy kind of elastic band, almost like a little hair tie. So this might have been made from a recycled hair tie, but that is what goes over to close it, which I think is so unique and different. And then inside you have this removable zip pouch that also has a slip pocket. So it's very roomy. And I did not see any sewing or tag on the inside, so I cannot provide you with any information. But I will link um, art an article below on upcycling, and I will also link the other designers of the bags that I did have information on. So that's bag number one. The next bag that I have is this bag by Ascama Studios. Now this company has a website, which I will link below, based in San Francisco and Brazil. And what I love about this company is they support over 65 women artists or artisans that create these bags. And so these are made from pop tabs or soda can tabs which are really cool and they have a nice selection of different styles to choose from. I thrifted mine at Goodwill for like three dollars and sixty cents but it's just so uniquely made and it makes such a statement and my first time seeing one of these was when another one of my colleagues who's an art teacher carried one and it was so unique hers was much larger and bigger and i looked up and thrifted one so it's just a basic inside lining so it's quite roomy it's just like a little kind of satin lining with a zip pocket there but i really think this bag is a cute little shoulder bag now this um Next bag that I'm going to show you is also a company that still has a site and has a lot of different styles to choose from. And this is the Naui Aline company, Naui Aline, and they make their bags from recycled candy wrappers. And I love this because the designer actually was at a festival in Mexico and was learning the ancient a Mayan technique of weaving you know, other materials like leaves and things like this and this is one of the methods that they use and so she thought hey why not use that same ancient method on things that people would consider trash and repurpose them and make you know usable things and so that is how she you know started her company and so I will be leaving a link to that site but if you want a different look, if you want to make a statement in your fashion, then upcycling is definitely the way to go. And I'm just going to show a few of my little fashion ideas on styling these and then I'll be right back. So stay tuned.
so excited sharing this information with you guys that I thought I wanted to share with you some other upcycle bags that I found online that I thought were really really cool and I also got very nostalgic while creating this video because it reminded me of a bag that I had when I was in school my mom made for me it was made from old blue jeans and I loved that book bag and carried it quite a while and had it for a long long time it was very sturdy and here's one that's very similar to the one that my mom made I wish I still had that bag I love that bag but I gave it away and this bag right here I saw online it's made from blazers and old neckties which was really cool this one's made from a UPS uh, bag or I should say United States postal bag and this one is made from fused plastic and I love the colors in this one so upcycling is the way to go I hope you enjoyed this segment on how to style upcycled accessories I actually just love all of these bags and I'm so glad that I acquired them and added them to my collection. They will be with me for a long time and I hope this video was encouraging and inspiring for you not to pass up on an upcycled item. You're doing so much for our environment when you do and you're also helping other artisans. You're just helping in so many different ways and so I just encourage anybody to thrift to you know support ecoists and artisans who are creating things that are made from recycled materials please support them it just helps keep things out of our landfills and it's a great way to advertise and promote going green because these are such you know i guess um uh, conversation starters like when I'm out and about oh that's such a unique bag oh that is so cute and then you can kind of just throw a short little pitch about how you thrifted it or how you like you know buying things made from recycled materials and maybe it would spark something in that person's mind to do the same so that is my little segment on upcycling if you have any familiarity with these designers, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And what are your thoughts on going green and purchasing, you know, recycled or things made from recycled materials? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you have not liked and subscribed, please do that. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so very much. And I... We'll see you next time. Bye.